Is this camera setup the ideal setup for POV trail riding videos? Oh, well, let's find out. I guess the first question, why do I want to mount the camera this way? When you mount the camera on top, you get rid of some of the perspective because the visor is getting in the way of some of the features your front wheel is running into. You lose some of the perspective, some of the sense of speed, and some of the elements from the trail that give a video its feel. So that's why I don't really like head mounting cameras when it's above the visor. Below the visor is all right. However, a lot of times when people try to do the visor mounted, they have it so it's like blocking their vision. It's kind of something like that. To me, I don't like that because personally, I like to see where I'm going so I can know what's coming up on the trail. As you guys know, during the summer, I ride a lot of bike park stuff. And I'll use a chin mounted GoPro setup because it gets great perspective and it's relatively simple to use. So I'm hoping to find an equivalent setup for trail riding when I'm not wearing a full face and it's hot out and I'm sweating because um, something like this is a lot cooler for summer climate. All right, so let's take a look at what I had to do to get my camera mounted nice and tight to the visor so it stays out of my vision and I can get pretty good video. For what it's worth, in this video, I'm using this Fox drop frame helmet. Fox, of course, is one of our channel sponsors, but I like this helmet because it gets a little bit extra protection. For the winter time, that keeps me a little bit warmer. In the summertime, it still has plenty of ventilation so you're not sweating your butt off. But I'll use a link in the description where you can pick one of these up. Anyway, let's get to the progress. Like, if it goes through? Oh, and then you mount it like that? Yeah. Though I'm not sure if that, that would work as well as I envision in my head. But there's part of me that's thinking about like dremeling out like a little hole. Yeah. Mm, problem. Is the camera too square? On the top it's fine, but if you put it below, this butts in, so you can't really change the angle oh, I see. that easily. Yeah. It could work on this guy. The foam in the way? No. Like, that's kind of what I'm going for. So the problem with this is you won't be able to get to the battery because it's right here. And the door flips down this way. And yeah. So this is the Hero 7. Uh, seven. If you're trying to mount the case this way, it runs into this, this little hinge because of the way it's angled like that. Mm -hmm. But if we flip this around, that hinges out of the way. So you can get this a little bit closer and enough where this protrudes so you can screw on top. Now the issue is it's facing that way. But there's nothing, nothing saying that we can't put the GoPro in this way and trim out this guy over here so it'll fit. What would I like better? If it's like this, I can't get to the on button unless I drill a hole. So I guess this would probably be better. the best. <laughs> Still getting hung up on something. Only problem is the on button <laughs> is underneath. So how do we fix that? All right, so at this point I realized I kind of uh, left you in the dark as to what I'm doing here. So when you put the camera in, uh, the attachment pieces can only stick up so far above the visor. I'm taking one of these elbow pieces and shaving it down a little bit so you can fit this screw piece through and that you can mount the camera. Also, side note, um, if you have long hair like I do and you're using power tools, 
should probably go ahead and maybe tie that up so it's out of the way and doesn't happen to get caught in the spinny wheely thing and uh, rip your hair out because that would uh, not be a good time. So, kind of works. Just need to epoxy this into place. And I think the angle should be good. Like I want it to be able to see arms and stuff, but I don't want it to like be looking at your feet all the time. <laughs> Go right around. Oh my god, the tire slap. <clears throat> well, am I looking far enough ahead? It's a little it's a little low, but I can still see pretty good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work out, but it's cold outside and uh, we're going to go for a ride. So let's see how this goes. Well, we're halfway up to climb. Apparently uh, my battery, my GoPro decided not to work. So we're skipping a little bit. It's got cold. Snowy. First uh, ride I've done with this uh, hobbit setup and lots of bike issues. What, 22 degrees out or something? Oh, this is cool. I've been having issues with my proper post, so for our shoelace. I just replaced cable and the, I had issues with the uh, lever bolt stripping, which adjusts the tension. And well, for the time being, this is what we're doing. All right. That looks pretty professional. <laughs> How's your bike? Perfectly it, fine. GoPro, stop video. Alright, this is my uh, helmet setup today. Got a little, hopefully this isn't getting in the way. I did, try to pull it back. Alright, one thing that you'll probably notice is uh, this epoxy piece uh, came, came off. Uh, not a big deal. I was hoping it would have a little bit more sticking qualities. Maybe I should have sanded it down before making it. Either way, I think it looks a little bit better because uh, it kind of smooths it out. It's, I mean, it's still gonna look weird no matter what. So not a big deal. Um, I am probably gonna try to paint this red so it matches the helmet a little bit more. I just took a Sharpie to this and uh, kind of works out. I, where, oh. <laughs> Snow is hiding all the ice patches, and there's plenty of them. <laughs> Whoa! Don't do anything stupid there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I think I see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, I broke the ice. See what game is. Oh. Just gonna put yours in through the side. Perfect. Sorry. 
Okay, so a few days have passed. I've reviewed the footage and, uh, well, first of all, yeah, the angle was a little wonky. It was pointed a little too far down. Um, so this thing was pointed something like that, uh, where it probably should be mounted a little bit more upright. It looked like I was looking at my front wheel the whole time, which I wasn't. So we can make that adjustment. But one of the things that I'm having trouble with is changing the battery. So if at the beginning of the video, you saw me doing all those uh, changes to the case. Um, and the reason why I did that is because you can't get to the battery very easily. When it's cinched down in here, this won't be able to rotate like that. So that's why I had to take this around, uh, modify it, so the camera could go in backwards. And so when I would go to remove the camera, I could do this. Now, why I can't find a single mount online uh, that's made to do this is beyond me. I think this is a problem that many creators have and uh, it would be a pretty easy solution to solve with a 3D uh, print. I've looked on, uh, what was it, Shapeware or whatever, um, awesome site for 3D print designs, and I haven't found a single one. So if you guys know of any, let me know because um, that'd be super helpful. But the problem with this mount is you need to get your finger under there which is really hard, especially if you're wearing gloves. So you kind of have to like wedge it under there and then fiddle with it. Eventually you can get it. It's not convenient and you can't get to the power button. So I was actually using the voice controls, which I've never done before. and They work all right when they want to work. But yeah, that's with the Hero 7. Uh, the reason why I can't use the Hero 8 here is because when it's mounted like this, Again, you can't get to the battery compartment. It's all the way down there. I wish the battery door opened from this side, which to me makes more sense. I don't mind the Hero 8 so far, but there's a few things that I think they could have done better, especially this battery door. And it falls off super easily. I'll have to come up with another solution for recording video while trail riding that doesn't involve a gimbal. I, I just wanna come up with a simple solution that's easy to do. I know it's a very small, like definitely first world problem, but yeah, I like to try to figure out solutions to problems I have in my life. Anyway, I'm rambling here. I'll see you guys in the next one.